we'll get ready with our get fit. I do have a couple different size weights out. Start the march. We march it out here. There's your march and march. March it wide, take it wide. Plant your feet, take some squats here. Little squats down and up. Let's do four more. There's your four, three, two. This time, stay low so you can take a cow cat right here. Plant your hands on your thighs, drop the belly, look up, round through your spine here. There's your movement through your back, giving yourself a nice warm up. This time, you are going to roll all the way up. Take the roll up right here. Take your tap and reach. Let's take a little tap and reach. Lengthen the side of the body. Sweep the arm across the front. Here comes that little sweep across the front. Open up the upper back. Step touch together. Take your step touch together right here. Little step touch, step touch. Heel front and push front. Take a little heel and push, heel and push. We're gonna hold the right heel to the front. Sit back, take your stretch here. Let the hips press back, tap the foot down and up. Here comes the tap. Foot goes out in the air and a little side to side here. Stop the foot, shift your weight forward. And now here comes the reach up, pull down. So really lengthen so you can stretch the lower leg. Take it up, bring it down, take it up, bring it down. Two more times. This time, bring the back knee in. Here comes a bend of the back knee. Open up the upper back. Give yourself a nice stretch. Drop your arms. Bring the back leg forward. Here's your sit back for your hamstring. Tap the foot down and up. Toes go out and in. Stop the foot, shift the weight forward. Here is that reach up, pull down, up and down. Two more. Back knee comes in here. This time hands go behind, open the chest, stretch the front side. Relax your arms, bring yourself up, come back to your march. Here is the march. Step touch, side to side, take your step touch, side to side. Keep the step touch, pull your arms back. So keep the legs side, but pull your arms back each time. Here is your hamstring curl with your arms. Pull back, lift the heel. It is a knee up, pull down. Here we go. Take your knee up, pull down. There's four, three. March it out right here. Go back to your march. Here comes the march, march, march. Take your march. Out in, it's an out, out, in, in. There's your out, out, in, in. March in the center. Take some little squats here. We wanna get everything warmed up. There's your little squats down and up.
Here's your three. Chill. We're going to march out, out, in, in. Start with your left foot. Take your left foot out, out, in, in. Now right here, bring it back to your center march. Grab a sip of water if you want a sip of water. First two moves we're going to do today, we're going to do a plank. And we're going to follow that up with a deadlift. I am doing my planks on the chair. Please feel free to take them down to the floor. Also, maybe you do your planks on your hands. My first time through, I'm going to be up on my hands. Second time through, on my forearms. You're picking what works for you. You can hear strong, solid plank here. See if you can lift up through your back shoulder blades. Get that engaged. Think of the zip of the core, low squeeze of the glutes. Remember to breathe. Each move we are holding for 45 seconds today. There's three, two, bring yourself up, shake it out. We're gonna go right into some deadlifts. I am gonna use my hand weights as we start today. That is up to you. If you are not completely warmed up, you would skip the weights. Otherwise, heels under hips, and you think it hinge and bring it up. This exercise, it is meant back of the thighs, your glutes, it will strengthen our low back, but really make sure your core is engaged to control the movement. There's your slide down, slide up. We take our time so you can engage and lift. You slow it down, engage everything, Pull it up. You slide down. You slide up. One more time. We go back to our plank. This time, plank down on your forearms. It feels different on when you plank hands versus forearms. Now, if you have one preference over the other, take the one that is best for you. Each move today, 45 seconds. So think of stabilizing today. You want to stay nice and strong, lift in between the shoulder blades. Think of the rib cage. That exhale brings your rib cage in and together, making your center secure. 10 seconds to go. Four, three, two, bring yourself up. We return to the deadlift. If you're choosing to use weights, you can lift them. Just remember, if your weights are low, um, make sure you squat to pick them up. This is where we're gonna come back to our deadlift. You're gonna slide down and slide up. There's your slide down. Hands are nice and close to your thighs. And that is to make sure we're controlling the weight. And think of a little pinch between your shoulder blades. That's going to help keep your chest open. We want to avoid rounding. We want your chest collarbone open as you slide down and slide up. We'll take two more. Here comes one. Here comes two. Now I'm gonna step one weight down. We're gonna do some squats. I'm only gonna hold one weight. And again, we're gonna be going through these moves twice. I'm having the weight by my collarbone. Stance where it works for you. Here comes your squat down and up. You're gonna let your hips slide down. Press and bring it up. Take your hips down and bring it up. Now try to keep your weight even. If you like to shift your weight halfway through, 
See if you can keep it even, right, left. Squat down, press, bring it up. Squat down, press, bring it up. One more squat, and then we're working on lunges. So I'm gonna take the weight, I'm gonna have it on the side of my front leg. If you prefer to have it on the other side, go for it. We're gonna start with right leg only. Find your balance, and then you slide down and slide up. So right here, think, engage the core. We wanna stay strong through the center. And there's your down and up, down and up. Now stay strong through the upper body and you should feel a little more effort having the weight in your one side and it makes it offset too. One more lunge on this side. Shake it out. Get ready to take it to the other side. So I'm taking the weight on my other hand. Feet, you're setting them up where they are comfortable for you so you can get good balance. Then once you're there, bend the back knee. Bring it up. There's your down and your up. We slide down, we slide up. Slide down, slide up. And we keep working on staying centered here. So our tendency is gonna to be to lean a little bit because we have weight. We're gonna to try to stay nice and tall. Keep it going. We slide down. We slide up. You have time for one more here. Now when you finish that, you can set your weight down. We're gonna do a little jump rope, shake out the legs, and then we repeat this one more time. When you're ready, here comes your march. A little warmer today, so if you need water, make sure you drink water when you need it. You're jumping. Which version do you wanna to pick today? Here's the march. A little bit more, maybe you do a little shuffle side to side. A little bit more, toes stay down, lift the heels. A little bit more, you have the full bounce happening. You're picking which one works for you today. Maybe you mix it up. Ten seconds to go. So think of this as shaking out the legs. We're repeating the squats and lunges one more time. Go ahead, stop the feet, shake it out. I'm gonna be grabbing a sip of water. I'm grabbing one weight and we're gonna start squatting. Again, I'm gonna keep the weight up by my collarbone today. When you're ready, there's your down and up. Think strong thighs. Use your glutes as you go down and up. Bring it down, bring it up. You have time for a few more. One more time. Then we get ready, lunges. Again, I'm gonna be holding the weight on the outside, right leg, get your balance, set yourself up. Here we go. You slide down, slide up. Now it's your choice. Maybe you don't wanna hold the weight today, that's fine.
We keep slide down, slide up, slide down, slide up. Take a one more here. Once you finish it, little 15 second break, shake it up. Let the legs relax, shake it out. Switch the hand holding the weights if you're choosing to use weights. You wanna circuit yourself, set up in your lunge, find your balance, get your feet steady, and here we go. Down and bring it up. Down, bring it up. And again, double check. Pull in the core, let it help you. Wiggle your front toes, that's to make sure you don't glide into your knee. Two more. There's one. And here's two. Now we're coming back to the jump rope. I'm using the jump rope, cardio, but also a good chance for you to shake out your legs. So maybe you're jumping right here. Maybe you have a little shuffle side to side. Pick the version that challenges you today. We have about 15 seconds to go. Next moves we're gonna be doing are some push-ups and some rows. Five, four, three, two. Shake it out right here. Give yourself a little break. My push-ups are gonna be on the wall. You want it more challenging, go to the floor. Think of a little elbows in just enough. So you can roll your shoulder blades back, get them there, keep them there, and then you add your slide down and up. Think of that solid center, and then you move down, press, bring it up. There's your down and up. One more push up. Then you bring yourself up, shake it out right here. We're going to move into rows. Now, if you want to have a seat, we're going to do both our arms together. If you want to have a seat, have a seat on your chair. Otherwise, you're going to come into heels under hips, little hinge, and then you start pulling the elbows back. Look more towards the floor. This to keep your spine in alignment. Pull the belly button in. Now the focus here is your back. If you're feeling it a lot in your shoulders, let your elbows glide back towards your hips as they come up so that you're not crunching your neck. One more row, and then once you're up, stay up tall. We're gonna do a weight swing. Uh, you're gonna wanna keep your heavier weight. I'm gonna fold on to the one I have. We have 45 seconds, it's gonna be your weight swing. Make sure you're moving hips, knees, ankles together, and there's your down, bring it up. You're gonna pick a size weight that works for you. And there's your fall. We're 45 seconds in each move today. 
From this, we're going to be repeating our push ups and our rows again. There's four, three, two, and one. Weight can go down so we can set ourselves up for another set of push ups. I'm still on the wall. Make sure, roll your shoulder blades back and down. Once you're there, there's your down and up. Slide down, slide up. We have time for a couple more. One more push up and then bring yourself up. Shake your arms out a little bit there. We're coming back to rows. I am going to have you have the rows in front of your body this time. When you go down right here, there's your hinge, and then you're pulling up the front of your body. So it's still focused on your back, but now you're coming to the front, little different area. There's your pull up, control it down. Slide up, slow down. I really think engage and pull with your back muscles. That's different than pulling with your arms. One more time. Bring yourself up. We're coming back into a cardio move. So we're going to be doing fast feet. We're going to be going out, out, in, in. So right here, when you're ready, you're doing little quick feet, quick feet. You have 45 seconds, moving your feet, quick, 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 quick. So we're working our cardio. We're also working coordination. If you want to add more, maybe add more punching with your arms as you move it out, out, and in. A little speed work. That's the idea here. Five, four, three, two, and one. We're coming back to push ups and rows one more time. Fast feet one more time. Then we're moving on to smaller muscle groups. I'm staying on the wall. Once you're there, hands down, shoulders back and down. And then you start push ups. Find a pace where you're challenging yourself. And when I say that, that means we're using strength rather than momentum. When you're elevated on a wall, sometimes it's easy to cheat and do a little momentum movement versus strength. A few more push ups. When you finish that, we're coming back to rows one more time. Shake it out. So we want to do rows. This time it's going to be your push pull, kind of your one down, one up. Low rotation if you want it tucked in there. So when you're ready, add your little hinge down, push and pull, push and pull, push and pull, push and pull. Now if this aggravates your low back, you can do this sitting in the chair. Otherwise, make sure knees are bent. Core is tight. Oh. 
20 seconds to go here. Push and pull, push and pull. Four, three, two, carefully bring yourself up. Set your weights down off to the side. We have our fast feet one more time. We're gonna be starting with the left leg out up. So go left, right, left, right. Same movement, a little different when you start with a different leg. Now, once you get the movement, remember you can take your time. I'm gonna up the speed a little. Maybe you use some arms. And there you go, fast feet. You're already down to 20 seconds remaining. This is to get a little speed. We don't usually move fast. Bring a little speed work, changes it, challenges you. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it up, shake it out right here. We're gonna move into smaller muscle groups, triceps overhead, Big whatever size, I'm using one weight. You can use two smaller weights. We're taking the weight up and overhead. Duck in the knees, pull the core in. There's your up and over. Now we're focused. Back to the upper arm. Make sure your knees are soft. Double check your core is pulled in. One more time. And then you can carefully bring the weight down. We're gonna go into bicep curls. Find a size weight that works for you for your biceps. Classic, palms are gonna be facing the front. And then when you're ready, make sure your shoulder is back and down. Add your curl and slow it down. Now take it at a pace that works for you. We do want to slow it down though. So whatever pace, you can go quick up. It's slower on the way down. Lift and lower. Lift, lower. So today the focus on the curl. Remember to breathe. Really strengthen the front of the arm. One more curl. We can set our weights down. I'm bringing in some balance here. We're gonna do our step up and over. Set your weights down. And then when you're ready, you're gonna step up and over. I am gonna push to the front, there's your push, push, big or small. This is to challenge your balance. Make sure both those feet go up. So you step over with the front, you step over with the back. Step over, step over, step over, step over. Now we engage your core. Core is gonna help you with your balance here. Here comes your last one. And then we're coming back to triceps. So relax your arms. We're gonna do a tricep kickback, okay? I'm grabbing a smaller weight. I just know when I'm in this position, it's about really getting stable in the shoulder. The shoulder never moves. Just the elbow moves. If this move does not work for you, go back to your overhead that we did. You're gonna have more reps because we're gonna do our right arm than our left, but we often have to make changes. Do the version of a tricep that works for you. 
There's your press back, control it down. Press back, control it down. Press back, control it down. One more time, and then carefully bring yourself up. Let that arm relax. You have the other side to go. Take your 15 second break. And when you're ready, here comes it down. Here comes the elbow up. Check it out, shoulder never moves. And there's your back. Stop at 90. And the reason I emphasize that is that we don't use momentum. Use the strength of the back of the upper arm. We have time for a few more. One more time, and then carefully. Bring your arm down, bring yourself up. We're coming back to bicep curls. Choose the weights that work for you. This time it's gonna be hammer curls. We're gonna have our thumbs go towards this ceiling as you bring it up and slow it down. Bring it up, slow it down. There's your up and down, up. And down. Little different when you have your palms in, you're working your biceps a little differently. Same idea though, you slow it down, right? One more time, and then go ahead, shake your arms out right there. You can set your weight down. We're gonna do our balance or tight rope walk forward back. Use the space that you have, and then we're gonna move on to some core exercises. But right here is heel toes. You walk, feet can be a little bit wider if that is feeling better for your balance today. Looking over your shoulder. Have about 15 seconds to go. Here comes your last step. Shake it out. Next move, we're gonna side plank. I'm gonna be on my forearm. I'm also going to be on the wall. Maybe you wanna take it down on your chair. You can take it down on the floor. It's where it works. And just think, make sure your arm is comfortable. Like I said, today I'm on my forearm. Maybe you lift your arm, maybe not. Then right here, think, zip the core, squeeze the glutes. And then if you want to lift the leg, it's going to be harder. That's going to be adding on that extra challenge. Remember to breathe. Ten seconds to go. Five. Four, three, two, bring yourself up, shake it out. And we have the other side to go. I'm keeping it on my forearm. I'm also keeping it on the wall. So once you're there, like I said, maybe you choose to lift the arm. Maybe you lift the leg. Usually we have one side that's stronger than the other. Just double check, you're in a straight line. So you wanna make sure you're in a straight line from the heels to the top of the head. 
20 seconds to go. comfortable having your palms in. That is going to depend on your shoulders. And there's your up and down. Push and bring it down. Push, bring it down. Here comes your last one. Bring the weights down. We are taking the weight around your body here. This will be our last move. Right here, set yourself up. You're taking the weight around. Now this is about your core. The reason I emphasize that, you have got to get stable. Zip the belly up. Bring the rib cage in. Only our arms are moving around our body. Everything else is staying nice and stable as you take it around. Get ready, change directions. Take it in the other direction. And again, you made the change, zip the core, bring the rib cage in and together. Arms go around. And there's your last one. Go ahead, set your weight down. Grab a sip of water. We want to start stretching everything out here. We're going to start with our shoulder chest stretch. Arm comes behind. The other arm drops down. Just the head drops. Pay attention. Keep your torso tall. Just the ear drops. Lift the head, relax the arm. Other arm comes behind. You're staying tall, just the ear drops. Lift the head, relax the arm, take some hip circles. Take your hips around in one direction, loosen them up, take the hips around in the other direction. We find our balance, and it's gonna be a quadricep stretch. That means if you want to hold on to the wall, go for it. Maybe you're reaching for your sock. I don't know, wherever it works, soften your standing leg. We have a tendency to lock our legs out, keep a little bend in it. Think stand up tall, so squeeze the glutes. That'll help get a deeper stretch. Relax this side, take it to the other side. So your heel comes up. And then once it's there, we want to focus on the stretch down the front of the thigh. So a little squeeze of the glute. We start relaxing the leg down here. And I'm going to have you cross one leg behind the other, fingertips go up, side stretch, lengthen right here. Release this side, take it to the other side. Footsteps behind, fingertips go up, and there's your side stretch. Release it down here. We're going into a hamstring stretch. I'm doing mine on the floor today. If you want to elevate your 
foot, set it on the chair, go for it. Bring yourself up, take it on the other side. Toes up, hips back, stretch out the back of the leg. Start bringing yourself up. Take the foot behind you. Fingertips go up. Now I'm stretching out the calf, and here comes your tricep stretch. Release this side. We take it over on the other side. Foot goes back. Fingertips go up. And there comes stretching out the tricep. Bring your arms down. And right here, I'm going to have you thumbs down, kind of press back, stretch out your biceps. Start taking your hands all the way behind, clasp them behind you, open the chest, front of the shoulders, lift your chin. Now slide your hands to your low back and right here, lift up a little bit more. From here, I'm gonna have you slide your hands to your thighs, push your bum back, feel the stretch down the back of the legs. So if you press your hands into your thighs, push your hips back, you should be able to get a good stretch down the back of the thighs. Carefully bring yourself up. Take a big shoulder roll. Roll your shoulders up, back, and down. Here comes your inhale. Take a big inhale. Reach up. Take an inhale. Exhale, blow it up. Two more times. Reach up. Big inhale. Blow it out. Exhale. And one more time. Here comes that inhale. Exhale, blow it out. And thank you all very much.